Alrighty, good morning everybody. Moving on up. Not much longer until it's time to process these birds. It's going by so fast. Even though the grass isn't growing like it was during the warmer months, I'm still trying to make sure that these birds have access to just fresh grass, vegetation uh, throughout each day. So I think we're at the point now since everything is still so low on the grass that I'm probably gonna have to move them twice a day right now just to keep them, just to keep them healthy and on good ground. You can see back here where they were, I just moved them from. They left some manure for us to fertilize right in here. All right, buddy, did you get finished feeding the cats? Uh -huh. All right, well, would you fill up this water for me? Uh -huh. Thank you, that would be for the chickens over there. Thank you. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna go take care of the ducks up there and get you their water too, okay? the layers. Hello everybody. These don't eat nor drink quite as much as the broilers nor the Pekin duck. So hey what are you doing up there? Come on down. There we go. We were using this heat lamp for them and the others but they're at the point now where they don't need it. Besides they're at the point now where we're probably trying to transition them out too so Got their nice feathers, staying warm, moving around, looking good. The eater still looks good. They got another one over here, still full of tea. They're eating. Water's there, but we're just gonna go ahead and add some more to it while we're here. Alrighty. Daddy, I done. You finished? Mm hmm all right, let me have you fill up one more right here. That is fantastic, Micah. Hold on. This one still has water in it. I want to get your feet too wet, do we? What? Oh, but you got the new boots, don't you? Uh-huh. They're waterproof? Uh-huh. All righty. There we go. Go ahead and fill that one up for me. Water time. Just the other day, we had a lot of rain. I mean, a lot of rain. I 
think that one day we got five, six inches just within a few hours. It was crazy. And just mud and water was just going all over the place. And I think they got in some mud from the compost pile and they just got them all dirty. This has been our first real year of raising animals for me. So, so there's still a number of things, items I would like to get just to improve our system. Right now for the feeders, we're just using bootstrap farmer trays which hold up really, really well for our feed trays. But I ultimately want to upgrade to little troughs. Uh, I like to have it polyface farm. Well, I think that just about wraps it up. Uh, it's pretty chilly outside. Uh, we hit freezing temperature again today. I think we were at 30 degrees uh, just a few moments ago, so it's a little chilly. But uh, speaking of temperature, today is the day that our friend Evan is coming to help us in, to install our mini split system. So really looking forward to that. You can't forget about your water. You know what? I really want to get some greens for these guys right here. Uh, and since we're not able to put them outside quite yet to give them greens, let's bring the greens from outside to them. I think I have some things from the garden that'd be really easy for them to munch on right now. So let's get them some greens. Right. This would be great right here. These are some surplus right here that we had from a couple days ago. And who better to give them to than our animals? They need them too. There we go. Some salad. Breakfast salad. During our recent trip to Polyphase, one of the things that Joel talked about was that we are immunologically designed to be well, to be healthy, to be in good shape. And it's not until we experience either toxicity deficiency or injury that problems happen and one of the things with chickens curly toe can happen and that's usually a result of a deficiency in riboflavin which they can get from greens so just something to think about oh, that was my knee what happened oh, i hit my knee on the door oh man oh it definitely feels warmer in here. So uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring a number of the items for the mini split system in here, just so we're not having to go constantly in and out, in and out. And uh, we can also be a little more comfortable <laughs> as we're working. So um, I think we're gonna have to shuffle things around here in the living room so in the dining area so that way we have enough room to bring these items in. So earlier I talked about all the rain that we got. Well, we had to leave our mini split system outside during that time. So we had to cover it up here. So, just gonna uncover it. Start transporting it in. Doesn't look like anything got wet at all. That's good. That's good. All right, now that we moved things around and brought some things in, it's almost like we had enough room right in here to do some yoga or something if these weren't here. So what are all the items that we have here for our mini split system? Well, we have our indoor units here that we're gonna hang on the wall. And then I think it's just all the um, pipe for those units and then electrical stuff. I think that's it. Hi. <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> it's not my native tongue. <laughs> Come on in. All right. All right. How are we doing this morning? All right. How about you? Oh, pretty good. So, <sighs> we brought a number of items in to try to make it easier for us so we're not running all over the place. Awesome. Awesome. So, cool. We have the two heat pumps here. Okay. Uh, miscellaneous items here that you'll probably know a lot more what they are than I do. Yeah, you just throw them, throw them together, and, and then it all 
it all, all comes together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> cool. The electrical cool. stuff. And that then, awesome. uh, what you call this? Some kind of copper yeah. co piping or something? Uh, yep. That's the for the refrigerant for the line. refrigerant lines. That that's one thing I don't have to to get them filled. But yeah. once everything's in place, um, you can have somebody just just fill them in. You want to weigh them actually. Okay. Um, they, they have a system that they do it with. Little line here. 30. That one's 35 and this one's 25. All right, so the first thing I need to do is hop up on top of our loft and take up the plywood uh, from that is sitting all above the rafters. So that way we can go ahead and set up and run our line, do our line set. So let's hop up there. Try not to step through the seal in the bathroom here we're here. All right, you about ready for this next piece, Evan? Oh, uh, yeah. Awesome. All right. Okay. So if you want to back up, I'm, I got it. Okay. I'll slide down. Oh, yeah, all the dirt. That's Should a little be different then. when I was poor and just using scrap of everything. Scrap wood, scrap screws. <laughs> Reusing screws. <laughs> this, some of this wood came from a demo project I did. Yes, I remember that demo project. I pretty much want to forget it. There's something that kept cash flow going. Here we got a lot of materials out of it. Materials I'm still using this day, actually. And there was a lot of headaches in it. Yeah. And frustrations. Let's see. Evan, can I hand, in, hand this one to you as well? Yep, absolutely. And then should be able to to go right through the center. Most important thing is not to kink it. There you go. <laughs> what happens if you kink it? This is copper, it's right? Destroyed. It's you destroyed. It's ruined. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> but I'm feeling literally, pressure. literally no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit nervous here. Straighten it out. Don't break it. Just got a couple of things to watch out for as I'm doing this. Don't bend this. Don't punch a hole through the ceiling of the bathroom. Let's still do what we need to do.
apologies. So I have to hop through with it. Yeah, we'll have to send it. It's gonna be a little tricky here. <laughs> you can cross thread really easily. Just with anything it has to do with brass. Brass, brass can be delicate. Brass can be delicate. And then if you want to go ahead and take one step up. Onto the ladder? Yeah, onto the ladder. Please, please. I'll hand it to you maybe. Probably maneuver it a little. Yep, yeah, getting a little bit of a workout. Who would have thought setting up a mini split system would get some muscle burn? It's teamwork back here. <laughs> I gotta make sure Mike doesn't fall over. Fall oh, Evan. Get out there. <laughs> get around there. Evan just gets mad and pushes me. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, right side can go down. And left side? And left side, I do believe. Okay, the hose is going underneath it right now. Yep, I see it. Oh. But that should give you some relief. Yeah. We're pretty much where we need to be with this guy. Just one second. Behind. Yep. I'm almost done here. Okay. Okay. Get my hand out of the way. Okay. Right one on. Okay. Yep. We are. Okay. Left one on. That one's on. Both of them. Both are on. Oh, it's right shoulders there. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! How's it looking over here? We're definitely gonna have to build something for it to sit on. Yeah, still got a little bit of ways to go. <laughs> coming wrong. <laughs> I'm sitting by just watching and listening to the waves. The burn that's here, not in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> 
can also find his meditation app on iTunes now. <laughs> 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 At the beach. The At beach the is that way. Yep. If my hands were free, I would shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we got one side. I don't know which side that was. I like my right side. Oh, uh, yeah, because so it's too. closer to the wall. Yeah. Feel this glitch, though. Just put a lot of pressure 